Okay, so welcome to this tutorial. Uh, it's been a while since I've checked on the Power Project, um, but what we're going to try and do is build for a, a new version of Bullet that's just been released. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is download Bullet. So just go to the Bullet web page and hit the download section, and download the zip file, um, and then once you've got that zip file, you can copy it across from your downloads folder across to your library folder or wherever you'd like to store it. Um, so we've got 2.75, just released a couple of days ago, and we'll just extract that. Um, and so when we build Bullet for PAL, there's nothing really different from the normal way you build Bullet, but that we just need it to uh, be built as a DLL compatible system. Um, we can just use the straight out uh, builds from bullet, so we'll open up the Visual Studio 8 solution. So here we go, we've got the whole thing, um, and all we do is we choose that we're going to build the debug DLL and the release DLL. So let's select debug DLL first, um, and instead of building everything that we need, we might just pick a, perhaps a, a subset um, constraint demo here. So let's select that as a startup project and build it. So now we're building all the different libraries that we need. So what we will need is the collision, dynamics, maths, multi-threaded, soft body um, components. So we could have just built them separately or we just choose a, a project that uses them and it will build them all automatically for us. So once it's done, I'll we'll probably build the soft body demo as well just to get that last uh, part happening. Okay, press F5 to test the little program that we just built and it didn't seem to work. So that's not too great. Um, it's probably just got the wrong uh, setup directory, so I'm not going to really worry about it. And let's set up the soft body demo, build that. And it's probably giving the same error when I try and run it. And again, okay, so not a problem there. We can just um, try it maybe manually, make sure it does work I guess. So here we go, uh, constraint demo. Uh, doesn't like us. Okay, well it looks like something's broken in the bullet. Uh, well, let's try releases, maybe we'll have more luck. So now we need to do the whole thing again for the release build. Um, and again I selected the uh, release DLL as you can see here. So when this finishes compiling, hopefully we'll be able to run the example programs. And we're almost done. Alright, so let's give that a shot. And same problems, well slightly different this time with the uh, release DLLs not being found. Okay, so that's that done. Um, so let's move on to trying to build PAL. So here we've got PAL. I've just done an SVN update. I've just downloaded it. So there shouldn't be any changes. So if we're uh, doing this for the first time, we need to do an SVN checkout and just choose the PAL URL there. Tell it where you'd like it to check it out to. And there's been no changes. Okay, so to get going with PAL now, uh, we just need to run the CMake environment. So here we go, CMake starts up, press configure, and we're going to tell it to build a uh, bullet. So turn that to on. Um, and we're not going to need any of these extras, so let's just turn them off. Save us a bit of time. Um, and we'll keep all the display examples on. So we hit configure again. And with any luck, uh, it'll find everything. And there we go. New version, and it seemed to find it. Okay, it looks like we skipped building the multi-threaded side of things. So I'll have to close off CMake um, and go back to Bullet and find the multi-threaded support and just build that. Just make sure we build the maths and build. And swap back to debug and also build the multi-threaded. Let's 
same with the maths. Yep, okay. Alright, so now we can try it uh, again. We'll run CMake. So, whoops. We want to delete the cache and start again. So, choosing Visual Studio 2005 or whichever version you have. Alright, so bullet we want on, the extras we're turning off. Okay, hit configure. Alright, it found everything. Uh, we don't need this linear math, um, that's only for some platforms that we're not using. Uh, this SDL problem keeps cropping up, so we'll see what see what happens there. Um, but for now, we'll just leave it as is. Hit configure. So we've got the SDL main library, include. There's nothing really left that's problematic. Uh, press OK. And it seems to have gone off and built something. So here we go, back in our PAL directory, we found the PAL solution. And we've got libpal, libpal bullet, libtest, pal beginner, and pal demo. So, uh, yeah, let's try a debug build to begin with. So it's been a while since I've tried this, but uh, with any luck, everything's still in uh, good shape. And no problems there. Let's try building the uh, bullet library. Again, people have been maintaining this well, well done. Uh, and let's try building the demo. So a few warnings. Probably everything looks like it's working pretty well. Um, so here's where our bullet uh, DLL, the libpal bullet DLL has ended up. So we're going to have to just uh, copy that directory into... Oh, there was an error. So, what was the error? Alright, power physics in it does not take three. three. Alright, so these have changed now. Um, we've got a physics description that we need to pass in, apparently. Um, and that physics description contains the uh, the up axis, some properties, and gravity. So let's change that. Uh, PP disk. Well, let's just check that class. See what it does. Sounds like it's got standard. Uh, specifications. Um, see what it does in its constructor. And it sets the default gravity, so it looks like we don't actually need to do anything special. So, alright, that's in it. There we go. Let's give that a shot and see if it likes that. Okay, no it didn't. Let's just make this happy. That up here. Alright. So we're missing some SDL libraries. Anchor. So let's see if we can find. Oh, it didn't seem to include any of the SDL libraries, so that would be the problem. So let's find the SDL libraries. Okay, so that's where we have our SDL libraries. Um, and we will need the SDL main.lib. The other one we want is uh, SDL.lib. Okay, and just give it that as an additional include directory. So let's give that a shot now. And, okay, it's worked. So the other thing we had to do, of course, was set that debug directory. That was this one here. Set that as the working directory. Let's try building that now. Okay. And it didn't find the SDL DLL, so it looks like something's broken with the CMake with the SDL side. But that's not a big problem. So let's just copy the SDL DLL over here. Let's go back. Okay, 
let's choose bullet and say the stacking test flat terrain and there we go we're off and running with bullet uh, 2.75 after six months great uh, so that's probably the end of the tutorial now um, and I'll probably update the SVN with this, that uh, change to, for the um, initialization of the physics so by the time you watch this tutorial you probably won't have to do that anymore. Alright, thanks for watching.